video, I'm going to be recreating some of my favorite looks that I discovered on Instagram. I've never really felt pressured by trends or boxed myself to fit into a particular style. I think my style is very eclectic. I can be boho, classic, Parisian chic, a little edgy, and so many others. It depends on my mood because dressing for me is a form of self-expression. I look for inspiration in all kinds of places, movies, images, art, color, social media, but but more often than not, it's street style that most inspires me. Most of the looks I'm styling for you today were taken from Instagram, but I have to say that most of the time, Instagram for me, when it comes to styling and looks, comes across as a little contrived. Style doesn't come from wearing Gucci and Chanel and all these other high-end labels. You don't need that stuff to look stylish. You can look great in thrifted items, fast fashion items, whatever it may be. True style for me is unique and individual. Sometimes I'll see an image or even a real person on the street and it will evoke some kind of feeling and it doesn't look like a head-to-toe outfit full of trends and high-end things that Instagram makes us feel we have to have in order to be cool, relevant and stylish. There are so many times when I am drawn to a particular garment and I will pick it up. I will think I really love this. I'm really drawn to it but how am I going to style it? I will still take that item because I fallen in love with it and once I have the piece in my hands and I'm at home I go online I type in whatever it may be pink slip street style and then I go to images and I see how people have styled a pink slip and it just opens up this whole new world for me on how to style a pink slip the looks that really speak to me are the ones that stand the test of time so when I find something very unique worn in a very natural real way that's what I'm drawn to and then I try to recreate that look in my own way I tweak it so that it fits my personal style the first look that I recreated was from an account on Instagram called street style Paris and I've been following this account for a very long time it's one of my favorite styling accounts loved this image because it was so clean so wearable so smart yet casual I just loved everything about it I knew I had all these pieces and what I love about it is that it's just so understated yet so chic in this image the gorgeous girl is wearing Wearing a white crisp shirt, black pants, black and white converse trainers, a black tote, a black scrunchie around her wrist and some sunnies. With my version of this look, I used these pants that I thrifted. They may not be the exact same shape style of pant that the girl is wearing. I think her pants are more tapered and man style, whereas mine are more of a mum style pant. I've added a belt to my pants because they are a little big and I do need the belt to cinch them in. As for the shirt, I used my Levi's shirt, which I brought back from my New York travels. I got this on sale at the Levi's Levi's store in Times Square. It's a boyfriend shirt. I tucked the shirt into the pants, rolled up the cuffs, and unlike me, undid a few buttons. As you can see, I just love wearing everything buttoned up. But in the picture, she's going for a more unstructured look, so I did the same. My black and white Converse are thrifted, and they are also platform. And I used my vintage tote, which I've had for over 20 years. Although it's a little bit different in shape, it's a black tote, and I love it. The sunnies that I have on are Les Specs, and I got these from TK Maxx they were 20 bucks I have a scrunchie on my wrist as well although it is a sad looking scrunchie hers is nice and big and puffy probably silk but I wanted to get really technical and recreate this outfit exactly as it's shown in the image I think most of us have these items in our closet already so that my friends is my version of this first look it's definitely a look I would wear in my real life in fact I think I'm going to wear it really soon Two comes from another Instagram account. Her name is Andy Singer and she looks really cute in this getup. What drew me to this image was her jacket and plaid shirt in particular. I do have a teddy coat very similar to hers. I think hers has a classic collar whereas mine has a motorcycle collar. As much as I do love this teddy coat, I feel very bulky when I wear it so I find it hard to style. So when I came across her image, I was very intrigued by the way she had layered a couple of garments underneath it but 
still managed to look streamlined and not bulky at all. However, she is a lot taller than me. I'm only 156 centimeters. So the girl in the image is wearing a charcoal tee. I think this color is very similar to what she has on, except mine has a graphic. Then she's layered a navy and red plaid shirt over this tee. I use this plaid shirt. My shirt isn't navy and red, but I love the colors in this shirt. I love that the orange picks up the orange graphic in the tee. So I still have a tee and a plaid shirt, but I've tweaked the look a little bit to accommodate what I have in my closet and also to suit my aesthetic. Once you add the third layer, which is the teddy jacket, you have a three-dimensional layered look, which I thought at first was going to make me more bulky, but I think it actually works because they're all at different lengths. This jacket, by the way, is by Thread and Supply. I got it from Marshalls in Hawaii for 20 bucks. My t-shirt and my plaid shirt are both thrifted, and there you have it, layering at its finest. The blue jeans I chose for this outfit are my Levi's wedgie jeans. They are a fantastic cut. They're high-waisted. They make your bum look so good, and they're so comfortable. I adore these jeans. I'm a size 27, and I roll them up slightly so that you can see the booty. Her boots are a tan suede, so the boots I've chosen for my outfit are my thrifted little ankle booties. However, I do think a taller boot would have worked better. The bag I chose for my outfit is my Madewell bucket bag, which I got from my Hawaii travels. It was on sale at Nordstrom Rack, and I absolutely love this bag, and I think it works well with the tan booties. I think they complement each other really well. So she's wearing a suede bag that matches her suede booties, and I'm wearing a tan leather bag that matches my tan leather booties. And then I have on the same Les Specs for my sunnies. Had I not seen that image, I don't think I would have styled the jacket in that way or the plaid shirt in that way for that matter. As much as I love plaid shirts, I'm always unsure how to style them. I feel like a lumberjack. I feel like they don't suit me. But the way she styled it as a layered outerwear piece and then with another extra of outerwear on top of that, I think was very innovative and cool. And so kudos to Andy Singer for that look and thanks for the inspiration. I was really captured by this third look, also from the Instagram account, Street Style Paris. This image to me evokes coziness, casualness, relaxed, effortless individuality. I just love this outfit so much. Had I not seen this image, I really don't think I would have thought to put all these garments together, but they absolutely work. Basically, she's wearing trackies and trainers, but has dressed it up with a beautiful knit and a jacket and a fancy ass bag. I mean, how genius is that? The trackies I use to recreate this image are my thrifted Adidas trackies. Paired with my Adidas trackies, I have this beautiful cream knit that I thrifted. It's a beautiful cable knit jumper that I thrifted and I absolutely love it and I just did a little front tuck and left the rest sort of loose as for the coat, I'm wearing my H&M Longline Blazer, which I've had since last season. I love the tan of this color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. My beanie is gray like hers, but shaped a little different. This thing has got to be over 12, 15 years old, and it only cost me about $5. The trainers I've chosen are my Adidas trainers, which I picked up on my Hawaii travels from the outlets. They were so cheap, and they're so comfortable. I love them so much. And the final piece, of course, to complete this outfit, Fit. I do not own a Christian Dior tote, but I do have this gorgeous anthropology tan tote, which I picked up on my New York travels. It was on sale. It is so adorable, is it not? With the white polka dots. I think it works so well with the tan blazer. The look all together is just absolutely gorgeous. So that, my friends, is my version of this third look, which so inspired me. I am definitely going to wear it and shoot it for Instagram. The only thing missing is my takeaway coffee cup. The fourth look that I was inspired by is from the account Martin York Boutique. Although the image is not a full head to toe outfit, I love the way the blazer picks up the orange in the tee and the tee picks up the orange in the blazer. This image speaks to me so much because styling in this way is what I do in my real life. I like to find the most minimal color in the blazer and bring it out somehow in what I have layered underneath and vice versa. Just gives your whole look overall a real polished feel. My graphic tee 
is my Metallica band tee that I thrifted. My plaid blazer is this one that I picked up from my Hawaii travels from Urban Outfitters. I absolutely love this blazer. It is so beautiful. I love the green. It's very unexpected. The colors that I see in this blazer are green, yellow, gray and a very faded black and so I think my band tee which has a little bit of green and orange when layered underneath the blazer is just a beautiful pairing you can see the colors in the blazer pulling out the colors in my band tee and vice versa and as I mentioned earlier just an absolute beautiful detail when you're styling I decided to go ahead and complete the look with my wedgie jeans in this gorgeous charcoal color, which again, pick out the charcoal vibes in the jacket and the tee. So for the shoe, I chose my Converse trainers in this khaki color. And the bag that I chose is my coach bag, which I got from a consignment store in Hawaii, and it was an absolute steal. They were still on the coach website, unbelievable. I love my bag to pop against my outfit, and I think the tan just is a beautiful contrast with the colors that I have going on in this outfit. And that, my friends, is outfit number four. mentioned many times that Carrie Bradshaw is one of my style icons. I even made a lookbook video inspired by my style icons, which I'll link down below if you're curious to check it out. So when I saw this image, it evoked Carrie Bradshaw vibes. This image is from street style photography. So she's wearing a pink skirt and then a beautiful knit, some white cowboy boots, and that is her outfit. And I just think it is complete genius. I love wearing slip dresses and slip skirts as outerwear myself. As as I mentioned before, my style is really eclectic and I don't like to be boxed in by how something should be worn. If I see a pretty slip and it's not too sheer and I think it can be styled in a different way, then why the hell not? What's wrong with that? So for the bottom half of this outfit, I thrifted this beautiful soft pink slip, which has a pretty lace detail. It's not too sheer, especially when layered with my favorite cozy knit. This one I thrifted also and I'm just so in love with grandpa knits. I love the navy with the pink again it's a beautiful pairing in my opinion my knit is not as colorful as hers but it does have some cream and it has a print to give the same kind of vibe the difference is I've styled my knit left loose and long this way I think the slip looks more like a skirt because it's disguised to a certain extent and I just really love the look of long knits over slips. My booties are almost exactly the same as hers except I'm sure they didn't cost as much as hers because I got mine from Kmart. You wouldn't believe how many compliments these boots get and whenever someone does compliment me on them I'm always only too happy to tell them they are from Kmart, they only cost me 29 bucks. And then the bag that I've chosen is this gorgeous sling bag that I got from Suzanne to take with me on my New York travels. It worked a treat while I was traveling. It can be styled in so many different ways, worn as a crossbody sling bag or over your shoulder as a handbag. I love that it's white and it has this contrast black strap, just like my booties are white and have the contrast black sole. I think they work perfectly with this outfit. I 100% feel like Carrie Bradshaw when I'm wearing this outfit and although it may not make sense, to anyone else it definitely makes sense to me and to my fashion sensibilities and I just love it so much all right you guys this final look I found in the who magazine as soon as I saw this image I just fell in love I love the vibe that it evokes it's so bohemian and I thought oh my god I have to create this outfit I love it so much and even though I don't really wear just plain black on top although I've started to branch out and wear black a little more than I ever have this is the image that got me into it I chose this very 70s inspired top that I found at my Tukli flea markets just like her top it looks very sheer except mine has a little flower detail down the front and I can swear to you that my mum had a top just like this and I always say to my mum why did you not keep your 70s clothing I don't care about 80s and 90s but your 70s clothing where is it I see it in photos and I get so mad at my mum for not keeping them for her daughter me I could have had her amazing wardrobe but anyway back to this outfit although it's not exactly 
exactly the same. It still evokes the same kind of vibe for me. The jeans that I chose for this outfit are my mum jeans that I got from H&M. They were on sale also. I absolutely love the shape and the rinse of these jeans. The belt that I'm using for this look is very similar to the one she has on. I got mine from the DFO outlets. It's leather. It has the same kind of buckle detail. It's thin, black. To complete the outfit, I chose this bucket bag by Leona Edmiston. I got it from Maya. It was on sale and I loved it so much. I picked one up in red and I added my black ankle booties, which I also got from Maya. They are the brand Piper, which is a Maya label. They are leather and they were on sale also. And for the hat, which I think is the most important part of this outfit, I chose my hat that I got from Kmart. $2 for this amazing hat which I think works so magically with this outfit. I absolutely, not this outfit, the outfit I'm creating. Maybe even with this outfit. It's so gorgeous, right? It's almost the same as hers, except hers has a white and black trimming around the base. Mine just has a black bow. So that is my version of this sixth look that I found in a magazine which I absolutely adore. I really hope you guys were inspired by these looks just as I was when I saw these images. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you guys in my next